Big question. How do you take care of a person or a child with special needs, usually through an inheritance, but without ruining any type of public benefit that they're on? Hi, I'm attorney Andrew Bethel, and this is actually a big question that pops up in our office all the time. And actually, it's a topic we've covered in a couple of previous videos, but it's important enough that I think we should take it out and actually just discuss it as a standalone issue. So when we have clients that come in, sometimes they want to take care of a special needs child, grandchild, niece or nephew, but they think they're on some type of benefit and they're worried that leaving them an inheritance will throw them off that benefit. Now, it ultimately does depend on what benefit that person is on. But the idea is, if we don't want to enrich that child with an inheritance that would ruin any benefit they're on, our clients, the parents or grandparents, they have to solve it at their level. They have to figure out the problem and determine the solution before passing away and leaving that inheritance. Now the solution to that might be a little counterintuitive. Oftentimes the solution is to disinherit that person, which in your mind you might be thinking, well, how is that a solution? I'm disinheriting them when the whole point is I want them to be taken care of, right? Well, what you do instead is you set up what's called a special needs trust. And instead of enriching the individual with an inheritance, you send what would have been their inheritance over to that special needs trust instead. Now that special needs trust is managed by a third party, perhaps a well child or just someone in the family that you trust. And they have to manage the funds in that special needs trust but the trust actually directs them to use those funds for the benefit of that special needs person. So how that plays out in reality is the special needs person is disinherited. They don't receive an inheritance, but because of that, they get to keep whatever type of public benefit that they're on to, in order to continue to take care of their care without throwing a wrench into the whole matter. Instead, the money goes into that special needs trust where a trustee manages it and any needs or anything beyond what the public benefit can provide to that special needs person over here, well, you have that special needs trust that is now supposed to cover those needs. And again, that trust actually tells that trustee the whole point of this and your whole job is to safeguard these assets and take care of that person over there. And ultimately, you do still pick a beneficiary on that special needs trust. So what you could do, and oftentimes what people do, is if they have, for instance, a special needs child and a well child, the special needs child will be disinherited. The money goes into that special needs trust where the other child takes care of it. And if that special needs child passes away before all the money is used up, then it goes out to that remaining child 100%. But through that process, that special needs child is never enriched with an inheritance that would throw them off any public benefit. Now that process isn't limited to just those with special needs despite the naming of the trust being a special needs trust. You could use that to also safeguard someone from the dangers that might come from them suddenly having a lot of money just kind of dropped into their laps through an inheritance. Now dangers, again, that's another one of those things that might sound kind of counterintuitive from an inheritance, but think about it. If you have somebody who might have some substance abuse problems or just might be just unable to manage their own assets, they'd be irresponsible with the funds. Then the idea is you don't wanna just drop all that money in their lap and say, well, kid, I hope you take care of yourself really well once you get it. The idea is you still disinherit that person but you set up that special needs trust and you can have another person in the family safeguard that person. So now they can be essentially guaranteed maybe a place to live and that they have their food or shelter taken care of, but they don't have the inheritance dropped into their lap to be irresponsible with. Now there's different other different uh, ways that you can incorporate a structure like this of a special needs trust into your estate, but the two most common are what I've laid out today and that's where you have a special needs child that you wanna preserve their type of public benefit, or where you have a child that just has some particular issues or struggles that you wanna safeguard their inheritance 
without cutting them out entirely. And special needs trusts are very common, unfortunately, but they are a very powerful tool to be able to safeguard people that you want to keep care of, but you don't want anything in their life to be thrown out of whack, such as those public benefits. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to check out some of our other excellent videos here, but don't forget, hit the like button, subscribe, ring the bell, and tell us what you'd like for us to cover down in the comments below.